Today, I am going to explain the three types of chickens and which breeds go under each type. Let's go. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. talk about the different types of chickens. Now I'm not talking about breeds yet, I'm talking about the types and that means what they're good at. And there are three of them. So there are the egg layers, there are the meat birds or broilers, and then there's a dual purpose who's they're kind of good at both. And I'm going to talk about those today. What you have to think about before you go chicken shopping is what you need in a chicken for your flock, your backyard flock what you want to raise. You know, do you want just eggs or do you want to be able to have eggs and eat them as well? Or do you just want to do the meat birds, the broilers? So you have to make that decision. It's good to know the different types of um, chickens just because like, let's just say for example, you have a very small yard or you live in the city or maybe you're on a very tight budget, but you still want to have a few hens or a few chickens, it's really good to know which types there are available and which breeds fall under which type of chicken. That way you're not wasting your time or your money, you know, getting birds that don't work out in the end and having to switch or just, you know, live with what you have and all that. So it is really good to educate yourself first so you know what you're getting into and you know which ones to choose that's going to be a perfect fit for your situation. Before I get into mentioning the breeds themselves within the types, I want to just say that all chickens lay eggs. And if you take really good care of your chickens and you feed them well and they're healthy and they're happy, they will lay good. If you have chickens that are supposedly gray egg layers, but you don't take good care of them and they'll just say they're wormy, they're overcrowded, they're stressed out, you're not going to get lots of eggs. So it's not only, you know, what they're bred for, but it's also how you take care of them. But you have to start somewhere. So let's start in the ones you chose. These egg layers that I chose in the type under egg layers are all breeds that are cold and heat hardy, and they all lay large eggs. And I chose these breeds because it just can, you know, be relevant to everybody who's watching. We have just such a variety of people that live in cold climates, hot climates, and everything else. So I just wanted to choose a breed that is good for everybody and they lay large eggs. Okay, so the first breed I want to mention is kind of a newer breed and it's a cross, which some people call that a hybrid. I call that a mixed breed or you can call it a mutt kind of. But this is an Astro White. And what that is, is it's a cross between a leghorn and a black astralorp. And unbeknownst to me, I had both of those breed on my farm this year. So I'm just so happy to hear that that's like a new breed and it's an awesome egg layer. Those lay large eggs, just so you know. The second breed is a leghorn. Leghorns lay large eggs. They also lay <laughs> really well. So these are nice breeds that lay a lot. The third breed is the Ancana. They also are great egg layers. So just so you know that these breeds, like I said, are heat and cold tolerant and they all lay large eggs. So that, those are great ones to pick no matter where you live. Those are great ones just to start out with. You can find them online. You can find them in a lot of feed stores like, you know, Tractor Supply, Rural King, where they have a big variety of ones to choose from. And if you really specifically want them, you can order them from like Meyer Hatchery or there's other, there's other chicken hatcheries that you can look up online and then you can order them from there. That way you know exactly what you're getting. Next, I'm going to talk about the broilers, which are the meat birds. These are the birds that you're raising specifically because you want to eat them. 
And the um, Cornish are probably the best. And the next breed under that are the Cochin. Those are both really good. What I want to tell you about broilers are they grow really fast. They're just, over the years, they've just been bred and bred and bred and, you know, I don't want to say designed, but just, you know, bred and bred and bred to speed up their growth. So they grow super fast. They're heavy birds, of course. They want a lot of meat on them. And because of those reasons, they cannot take the heat. They are not heat tolerant. When you're raising those, you have to be very careful how you keep them because they'll literally die quickly of like heat stroke. So make sure when you're building your pen, it has, you know, shade and just take precautions and make sure you keep the birds cool at all times. The last type of chicken I want to talk about is the dual purpose type of chicken. And the three breeds I've chosen under the dual purpose type have all the characteristics that you would love in a chicken. They are cold and heat hardy. They lay large to medium eggs and they're broody. <laughs> I just love all those characteristics. It's like the best of everything. Okay, so here they are. It's going to be the Jersey Giant, and the second one is going to be the Orpington, and I personally love Orpingtons. I think they're so pretty. And then the third is going to be the New Hampshire. New Hampshires are very nice hardy chickens as well. So those are the three breeds under the dual purpose type that have all the characteristics that anybody would want in a bird. In a bird. <laughs> and a chicken breed.